Hello and welcome to another video series of Excel BI. Today I am going to talk about that how you can create dynamic line chart by selecting majors using slicer. In this technique, we are going to use Power Pivot, DEX and Excel chart. And we are going to perform this technique in three steps. Let's start the video. First step is to create the line chart. To create the line chart, select your pivot table, go to pivot table analyze and from tools group select pivot chart. Select line chart, press ok. Now insert a year slicer. For that select the pivot chart field from calendar, more, year, right click and add a slicer. Now customize your slicer. For that, select the slicer, go to slicer tab, from the buttons group, change column value to 2, right click on the slicer, go to slicer setting and uncheck display header. And from the chart, right click on the button and hide all field button on chart. That's the basic structure of line chart. Step 2. To create the major slicer, we need a dedicated table that contains all the majors that we want to display in the slicer. For that, select any cell and write down the list of majors for the slicer. I am labeling this list as major slicer and I am going to showcase two majors, total revenue and YTD major. Convert it into a table. Make sure you check mark my table has header and add this table to power pivot. For that go to power pivot. From the tables group click add to data model. Wait for a second. Here is your major slicer table. Update the name. I am writing slicer selection. Now create the major slicer for the line chart. For that Again go to Excel, select the slicer selection table, right click on the major slicer, click on add as slicer. Again we will update this slicer, go to slicer tab, from the buttons update columns to 2, right click on the slicer, slicer setting, uncheck display header, ok. Now in the third step we are going to write the majors that will help us to create a dynamic line chart based on the majors slicer. For that let's go to power pivot. From the data view the slicer selection table we are going to write our first major major selection and I am going to use the values function and I want to call the values from my major slicer column. Now since my column has multiple values therefore we have written an error. To control this error I am going to write another function that is if error and in case of error I want to show blank. Perfecto. Now I will use this major that is my major selection to create the dynamic line chart values. For that let's enter in the majors table and here we are going to use the if function majors selection line if my major selection equals to ytd then show me ytd major else if my major selection equals to total revenue show me total revenue major in case if both the values are selected then show me blank. That's it. Enter. The last step is to update the chart value. For that let's go to Excel. Select the pivot table. Take out the years from the column. Total revenue from the values and YTD from the values. And insert the major selection line in the values. Since my total revenue and YTD are selected therefore nothing is displayed in the chart. But as soon as I select total revenue 
we have the line chart in front of us. If I select the YTD, we have the YTD values in the line chart. We can also update this line chart for year 2020 and for year 2021. If you like this technique, share it with your friends. Let us know your feedback in the comments and also your suggestion for the future videos. See you in the next video.